What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Google Pixel 6a and the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing and availability. But with that being said, let's get started. So with the Google Pixel 6a, we're getting a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1080p, a PPI of 429, an aspect ratio of 20 by 9, and an 83% screen to body ratio. With the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, we're getting a 6.5 inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080p, a PPI of 405, an aspect ratio of 20 by 9, and a screen to body ratio of about 85.4%. So both phones definitely do have really good displays and they are pretty similar. In fact, in general, they honestly kind of look the same too. But I would say overall, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G does have some advantages here. First of all, obviously, it is larger, 6.5 inches versus 6.1 inches, maybe not a huge night and day kind of difference. But if you're consuming a lot of content, you definitely will notice. In addition to this, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G does have a higher refresh rate at 120 hertz versus a standard 60 hertz display. So with the Galaxy A53 5G, the movement on the screen is going to be a little bit faster and smoother. Now, keep in mind, it's not going to be a huge difference. But again, if you are consuming a lot of content like watching videos, playing games, stuff with motion on the screen, you definitely will notice at least a little bit. But other than that, they're not really too much different. Both have great display technologies. And in general, they do look really good. Now for storage, both phones do have 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but the difference here is the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G does get microSD card expansion, whereas the Google Pixel 6a does not. So if that is an important factor for you, maybe you have a lot of photos and videos for example, then of course the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will have an advantage, but I would say for most people, 128 gigabytes of internal storage will be perfectly fine. Now for security features, both phones do have in-display fingerprint scanners, definitely one of my favorite kinds of fingerprint scanners, but unfortunately the Google Pixel 6a does not have fingerprint unlock, whereas the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G does. Now obviously this is not going to be a huge deal for all of you. There are plenty of people out there who just don't care about face unlock. I mean even for me, if I had to choose between a fingerprint scanner and face unlock, I would definitely choose the fingerprint scanner. But again, if you do like face unlock and you want that feature, then the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will definitely have an advantage. But that being said, let's go ahead and give these fingerprint scanners a try and see how well they work. So starting with the Google Pixel 6a. There we go, one more time. And there we go. Moving on to the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, both fingerprint scanners work really well. I have no complaints at all. So again, the difference really comes down to whether or not you want face unlock. If you do, then obviously the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G being the only one between the two that has it is going to be the better choice here. But if you don't care, then either phone will be just fine. Now taking a look at the camera setups here with the Google Pixel 6a, we got a nice looking hole punch design for the selfie camera. And this camera is 8 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a dual camera setup with a 12.2 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. For video, keep in mind this phone can record in up to 4k in the rear camera at 60 frames per second and 1080p in the front now with the samsung galaxy a53 5g we got pretty much the exact same looking selfie camera and this camera is 32 megapixels then on the back we got a quad camera setup with a 64 megapixel main camera a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera a 5 megapixel macro camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera so in general as far as features go these phones are pretty similar the main differences here you're probably wondering about is the samsung galaxy a53 5g does does have a lot more cameras and much higher megapixels as well. But let me tell you why that doesn't really matter. First of all, with the megapixel count, sure this phone doesn't have a 64 megapixel main camera and the selfie camera is only 8 megapixels, but this phone is a little bit higher end than the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G and it's really more of an entry level flagship phone as opposed to just being a normal mid range phone. Because of this, the Google Pixel 6a is going to have a much more powerful sensor. So in general, even though the megapixel count on this phone is lower, from my experience in general, I would say this phone takes much better photos. Now, as far as the A53 5G having a lot more cameras, the only things it really has that the Google Pixel 6a doesn't are a dedicated macro camera and a depth sensing camera. Now with the depth sensing camera, all that really is for is portrait mode, and I can tell you from experience, portrait mode works great on the Pixel, so that difference is kind of irrelevant. Now it's a little debatable when it comes to the macro camera, only because with the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, the macro camera is actually good, which is honestly not something you see every day. So yeah, on one hand, with a dedicated macro camera, getting close-up detailed images is a little bit easier, but with the Google 
Google Pixel 6a, you can honestly do mostly the same thing just by getting the phone closer to the subject and zooming in a little. And in my experience, the effect is pretty much the same. But if you do want a dedicated macro camera, then the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will have a bit of an advantage. But again, if you don't care, then it's not that big a deal. But overall, as far as photo quality goes, the Google Pixel 6a definitely does have a significant advantage here. But if you want to see actual photo and video samples and decide for yourself, then I definitely recommend checking out my camera reviews for both phones, which I will be linking to in the video description. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G can record in 4K in both the rear and front cameras, but it does max out at 30 frames per second. So on one hand, this phone can record 4K videos in the front, whereas the Google Pixel 6a can't for whatever reason. But on the other hand, again, the point still remains, the Google Pixel 6a's video quality is going to be better overall. Now, as far as RAM and processor go, with the Google Pixel 6a, we're getting 6 gigabytes of RAM with the Google Tensor processor. With the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, we're getting 6 gigabytes of RAM as well with the Samsung Exynos 1280 processor. Now, keep in mind, there is another variant of this phone that has 8 gigabytes of RAM, but again, this specific phone in the video only has 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I ran Geekbench 5 benchmark tests on both of these phones, and with the Google Pixel 6a, we're getting a single core score of 1055 and a multi-core score of 2956. With the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, we're getting a single core score of 742 and a multi-core score of 1910. So a couple things here. First of all, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is not a slow phone by any means. In fact, if you've watched any other videos about this phone on my channel, you'll know it's the exact opposite. This phone is actually really fast and their performance for pretty much everything is great. But on the other hand, with the Google Pixel 6a, this phone is really getting into flagship territory and performance wise, I would say this phone is a little bit more comparable to the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. So overall, if you want the faster phone of the two, then definitely go with the Google Pixel 6a, especially if you're doing something like high performance mobile gaming. But for just regular daily use, like web browsing, social media, stuff like that, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will be perfectly fine. Now, as far as the battery goes, with the Google Pixel 6a, we're getting a 4,410 milliamp hour battery that supports 18 watt fast charging, and the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is getting a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that supports 25 watt fast charging. So as you can see here, there is a bit of a difference. The Samsung Galaxy A53 5G does have a better battery in pretty much every way. Not only is it a bit larger, but it also has better fast charging. So if you have a powerful enough fast charger, you can definitely take advantage of that and it will make a difference. But that being said, the Google Pixel 6a doesn't have a bad battery. So if battery life isn't exactly your top priority, maybe you have your phone plugged in all the time anyway, then it's probably not going to matter a whole lot. In addition to this, both phones do have Android 12 and the Google Pixel 6a being a Google phone and the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G being a Samsung phone, both are going to get great software support. So you can definitely expect a decent amount of major updates. And both phones also do have NFC. So if you like to make contactless mobile payments using tap and pay, you can do that with either phone. But in conclusion, which of these devices is better? Honestly, this is pretty close and I do think both phones are really good, but in general, I would say the Google Pixel 6a is the better device. Now, this isn't really by a huge margin because the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G definitely does have some advantages, but with the Google Pixel 6a, you're getting a much faster processor and a better camera setup, and I feel like in this case, these differences outweigh the advantages the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G has. But that being said, the A53 5G is a little bit more affordable. It has a larger display with a higher refresh rate. It does have micro SD card expansion, it has a slightly better battery, and the processor and camera on this phone really aren't bad either. So in general, if you want a faster phone with the best camera, the Google Pixel 6a will be a better choice, but if you're just looking for a good, reliable device for more casual daily use, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will be perfectly fine too. But this concludes my comparison between the Google Pixel 6a and the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Once again, if you want to learn more about either of these phones, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing and availability because this is always changing. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next one.